Hey, this is Dale Shanzi, and I am back with the 304 reasons the flat top is the only paramotor uh, competent pilots buy, fly, or train with. There's just absolutely no excuse to be training with units where if you trip and fall down, you could chop your hand off or just have major issues. It just, it makes no sense. So you really have to look at the quality of gear and then think about the competency of someone that's acting as an instructor who's not using the best and safest gear. It makes no sense. Okay, we are on page 19 of the 304 reasons. It, the flat top is the only unit competent pilots fly. All right, electronics are exposed when electronics pack is removed for ease of maintenance and troubleshooting. The, I spent a lot of effort to design this system based on other systems out there and all the frustration and trouble with other units. Uh, and I'm a big weight weenie, so I want it absolutely as light as possible. So I designed it, when you put it on, it's closed and it seals everything up, but when you pull it off, it's open and you have all of your electronics right there, very simple to see and use. That uses the least amount of aluminum because you're doubling up one part for another part and making them do dual jobs. Uh, so you're using the absolute minimal amount of parts to get the same job done, which is kind of cool. Uh, and again, it keeps the flat top the absolute lightest possible unit while also being the strongest and safest at the same time. Uh, wiring is all connected to wiring plate with quick disconnect connections, so no soldering is required for maintenance or testing. Um, again, we're using everything right in the electronics pack, which makes it a lot more reliable. It makes it a lot easier to see and follow where everything goes, and it makes it a lot easier to work on. You don't have to be an electrical engineer and whip out your soldering iron to try and fix everything. So very, very simplistic. Uh, and reliable with the lowest possible failure rate and easy enough for people to figure out. Battery is locked in when electronics pack is in place, so no extra weight is used to secure it and no extra time is required to remove it. So again, it's another one of those little puzzle pieces where it took an enormous amount of time to figure out how to keep it as light and as simplistic as possible. So when you mount the plate onto the frame, that automatically seals up the battery compartment so that the battery is locked in and cannot fall out. It's impossible because it's locked in. But when you remove the electronics pack, it is then open and now you have access to your battery. You can pull your battery out for charging or diagnosis or whatever you need to do, um, and it's all open. You don't need an extra cover, an extra panel to have everything closed and then closed. So we use the fact that you put it onto the unit to actually seal the pack. It's just kind of cool because you're using the aluminum that's already there to do two different jobs instead of having to have two different sets of aluminum to have a cover that then ends up getting covered anyway when you put it on the unit. So just kind of smart thinking, trying to make everything work together and make it as light and as simplistic as is possible while it's also extremely functional. Electronics pack doubles as a firewall backplate for reduced weight and for the battery. So the battery is then locked and sealed inside an aluminum box. So even though we use nanotechnology batteries that don't burst into fire if you short them out, they are also sealed in an aluminum box. And there is an aluminum back plate between you and the battery. So instead of all the units having a battery just tie wrapped to the frame and then wires coming off going all over the place, the battery is sealed inside an electronics pack, and that pack keeps that aluminum back panel between you and the electronics and the battery, battery making it more reliable and safer for you. A battery containment box built into electronics backplate for extra rigidity of backplate. <coughs> so 
Another cool little thing, again, instead of just having a sheet of aluminum that you put the electronics on, well, that would be flimsy and it'd be hard to work with. So by attaching the electronics uh, box for the battery to the electronics pack and keeping them together, you have the battery box making a rigidity for the plate. And so the whole system works together, fits right on, piece of cake. And again, you have one piece of aluminum doing two or even three different jobs all at the same time. So you have the minimal amount of parts, so you have the lightest possible weight. After all, it's an aircraft you want, and it's something you carry on your back. You want the lightest possible weight. And that's what that flat top does for you while giving you the best reliability. Okay, electronics pack fits between frame tubes and over motor mounts for better aesthetics and a secure fit without adding weight or complexity with mounting brackets. So again, if you have a pack, well, now how do you attach it? So we made the pack fit perfectly in between the frame rails so you don't need any additional brackets or locks or screws or anything to fasten it on like so many other units have where you got to unscrew everything and try and tear everything apart to try and get to a battery or to try and get to a wire or something so you can figure out what's going on. Um, with the flat top, one part fits into the next part. The wires are all made to the perfect length. It Velcros on, you stick it on, bam, you're done. No wires, uh, excuse me, no uh, bolts, no screws, no fasteners, no rattly things to jiggle and mess up or sharp objects to catch or tear. Everything fits perfectly together. Okay, bolts and nylock nuts are used to secure electronics to simplify parts replacement. So inside the electronics pack, the uh, electronics are secured to the aluminum using the bolts with a nylock nuts. You're not gonna have those pieces vibrating off. Um, and pieces where we can <coughs> secure them that way. They're secured in a way where you have the lowest possible failure rate and you're not gonna have the thing. So it's really nice, the whole electronics pack takes no bolts or anything to attach it, and the bolts that are used securing things to the aluminum back plate make it very simple, uh, so you're not gonna have things vibrating off and everything's open and simple to work on. Uh, they took a lot of time, boatload of time, to develop all these things. There were just countless hours trying to figure out how to make these things as perfect as possible. Remember, I built these units for me, not for you. I don't build them to sell them. I built them to fly them, and we just make extras of exactly what I personally fly. So it's not like I fly some specially you know, made unit that's a little different. You get to fly exactly the same unit that I fly. It's identical, same thing. Okay. Uh, bolts holding electronics are countersunk onto face of electronics pack for extra smooth finish. Uh, again, on the face of the electronics pack, you don't just take a bolt and bolt a bolt on top of a piece of aluminum because then you have sharp edges and your harness needs to flow smoothly up and down that electronics pack. So again, we take the time to countersink the bolts. So the whole front of the electronics pack that rides up against your harness is perfectly smooth and flush and there are no sharp edges. One more of those little things that just, you know, little things add up and make a big difference. Okay, electronics are sprayed with silicone sealant for minimal chance of electrical shorts due to dirt, vibration, or water. So if you see me doing foot drags on the water and kicking water up on the flat top, you know that there has been a lot of work to make sure that water does not short out the unit, causing a motor out, because then I would end up in the dang water, and I don't want that to happen to me. So obviously we fix it, and because what I fly is exactly what you can get and fly as well, it's made to keep you safe as well and minimal uh, failure rate. State-of-the-art battery, able to fully recharge in less than 15 minutes. So you have a nanotechnology battery 
that you can recharge the whole battery for the electric start units very, very quickly uh, and efficiently. And it's very quick to swap out or change and even have a hot swap if you ever needed it. But also the battery is so powerful. This is probably listed later, but I tested it. We were able to crank the flat top for five seconds. Rur, 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 five seconds of cranking over 100 times on one charge. So that flat top battery, you can run for months and months and months of flying without even having to recharge it, which is very, very, very cool. So we're using a battery that's big enough and powerful enough to really crank it over so you're not dinking around with dead batteries and weak cranking, which has been a major issue on other units that we've all used through the years or experienced pilots. Okay, state-of-the-art battery padded and uh, heat shrink for optimal protection and prolonged battery life. So when we put the batteries in, the pack is made specifically to go in that electronics box. Anything, again, we're making everything to minimize that wear and minimize that failure rate. So you're not having wires that are vibrating and wearing over time. We're eliminating those weak points and eliminating those failure rates to keep the flat top the absolute most reliable unit on the market. And I challenge anyone to try and come up head to head with a flat top and do a true, real, honest reliability test. Challenge anyone, it's not, it's not even comparable. No other unit on the market is even remotely close to the reliability of the flat top because no other unit has people taking that much time and effort with that much history and background to make it the absolute best possible. So flat top, you can see why the flat top paramotor is the only unit competent pilots buy or fly. We'll see you next time for page 20. Thanks for joining.